all right welcome back everyone to another video and this is the xilinx all programmable uh, zsoc now this is truly the 96 boards xilinx ultra 96 which uses their um, zmp soc platform um, and let's let's get started let's see what the hardware is and how it looks like so uh, this is the box i got it in now i'm not sure if this is the production packaging but this is sort of what it would look like uh, once you open it you will have uh, this protective covering uh, anti-static bag and the board is in there we'll take a look and of course i have opened it this again is um i, I got it sort of pre-production i wouldn't say like very early on but uh, I got this at the last Leonardo Connect uh, and we'll take a look at the hardware. Uh, inside the box you will get a micro SD card and um, SD card okay, to full SD adapter. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, inside the box it says a, a warning which is always unplug the power cable before installing or removing mezzanines. Um, let's move forward and take the board out of the protective packaging so there we go and this is the xilinx ultra 96 this is how it comes uh, in a packaging it has a shield at the back um, so that you don't accidentally short components on the bottom of the board and there are a lot of components on the bottom of the board We'll get to that in a bit let's take a look at other physical aspects of the board so this is the uh, 96 board spec uh, consumer edition specification of course bringing the board a bit closer to the camera i hope all of you can see um again xilinx zinc uh, and this is the wi-fi chip over there the 12 volt power supply uh, the high speed uh, the low speed 40 pin connector and the high speed connector um, then we have uh, tiny little dip switches right there that's to uh, switch between booting from the SD card um, JTAG or USB so you have three boot options there is no onboard EMMC so you will have to have a SD card which comes with the board itself and it's preloaded with the OS so which is nice uh, so I have the SD card inserted uh, instead of an HDMI, you have a mini display port, so you would need uh, an HDMI to display port converter. I have one right here, so this is mini display port, and on this end, it's HDMI, and that works very well. So, um, apart from that, we have a micro USB 3B uh, connector. So you can add your normal micro USB connector as well as the full 3B connector and you have to uh, you full USB uh, 3 host ports and uh, towards the bottom now you can see that there is your uh, there is a fan uh, we'll open this up and see what's inside but yes it comes again with a fan and a, a, a back shield uh, so that's pretty nice so you can just unscrew these we can take a look at what's inside and a lot of things so pretty much all the business that's happening is on the back um, and this is the fan this fan is PWM controllable or at least if not user controllable then then it is the speed does vary when you uh, boot the board all right so let's run down some of the components and of course there is our shiny uh, bare silicon now, unlike other SOCs that you have seen in the past with the 96 boards platform, uh, this does not have that ceramic or plasticky covers like other chips have. Uh, this is the bare silicon die, uh, again facing on its back. And you can see the zinc logo and a QR code and a bunch of other things uh, typed onto it. So yes, shiny little thing there. Uh, this is your JTAG connector right here and um, that's your ram so that's two gigabytes of uh, ddr4 memory and a bunch of other active uh, chips and things i can see which are probably related to let's see usb usb another usb i'm just saying because of the approximation 
um could be other things as well all right so yeah that's that's pretty much how it looks from the back um again all the business is on the back of the board and that's why the you get the uh, metal shield for that so that you don't end up damaging things um and the soc can get a fair bit hot so let's go through the spec of the soc so it's a uh, mp sock that means it has the fpga bit and a regular um arm processor so it's a quad core cortex a53 at 1.5 gigahertz uh, it also has dual core cortex r3 or r5 again i'll put the spec sheet on your screen right now but it has dual real time processor quad co normal cortex a processors that run linux and then your fpga bit which i'm guessing is around 150 and yeah so that's pretty much about it it the board is already supported in their suite uh, if you want to do your own fpga design and you know up, up and use it with this board it's already supported so you can go ahead and i'll put the documentation and everything in the description uh, of course i uh, also will be uploading a lot of examples um on the 96 boards youtube channel in the following days so i'll actually link that channel also in the description so go ahead and take a look there as well we'll be doing some basic demos uh, because the os image that is currently available on our website supports libmraa by default so right out of the box you can uh, load that image and get started with using the gpios uh, and then of course if you want to go uh, into a bit more depth and advanced fpga design you can use xilinx own suite of tools to uh, then go ahead and design so one of the main uh, big things with releasing this board with an fpga is that xilinx uh, has its own ip for machine learning and i'll show you the demo right away in a bit so that the fpga can actually be programmed to act as a machine learning or neural network uh, co-processor so like an mpu so again uh, we have some image classification demo on our hands and uh, i can show you all in a minute so this board uh, because of its machine learning capabilities was announced as the initial set of boards that were released with 96 boards.ai uh, that actually have uh, ai capabilities and uh, edge ai computing built into them so again this one does it through its own fpga again thank you so much for watching make sure to check out the description for any more updates on this board future videos and check out the 96 boards channel uh, where we'll be uploading many more uh, demos and tutorials on this particular board so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one